listen to this, right? Your distance from the golf ball is massive. You've got to make sure it's correct because that's going to allow you to find that center of the golf club more often. So I'm going to show you today exactly how you can get the perfect distance with your irons and with your driver. Now, it's not just a regular video about driver at the end. This is something that, well, I, don't, I don't actually don't think I've seen it on YouTube. Welcome to a brand new video. I'm Alex, PG Golf Professional, Top 50 World Coach. Let's firstly start with our irons. Now, if you come down the line perspective, you're gonna see this is a great routine that you can do at the range. And if you build those good habits at the range, then you're more likely to take them to the golf course. I can't recommend this enough. So forget the golf ball to begin with. All you need is two extra tee pegs or two coins or two ball markers, just something in your pocket, okay? Hold that golf club up, keeping those legs straight. I've got wedge here to begin with. Lower that club until it sits parallel to the ground. And all I want you to do now is bend over from the hips and then slightly bend the knees. You can see now, that is the perfect distance from the golf ball. Keeping everything the same, just shuffle into the ball now and mark where that is with two tee pegs or two markers, just where your toes are. Hit maybe five, 10 shots away down the range from that position with that ball position, creating a lovely triangle. And you can see that from the play cam perspective right here. Let's now go on to five iron, which is probably one of the longest irons in your bag. In fact, get down in the comments, let me know what is your longest iron. Now you're gonna see the difference, not only with how I move the ball position up in my stance, so closer towards my left foot here, but also my distance from the ball, and this is key. So I've got two more tee pegs just to illustrate and visualize for you the difference in distance between a pitching wedge stance and a five iron. Now remember, this will be different for you as it is for me if you've been fitted for your clubs, the length of your clubs. So it's very, very important that you do go out and do this. Okay, so those two tee pegs are in my pocket again. I'm forgetting that golf ball. I'm gonna follow the exact same process. I've got a slightly wider stance than I had before. I'm gonna lower that club till it's parallel to the ground. And I'm gonna tilt over from the hips, slightly bend the knees, keep everything the same, and shuffle in. Now look at the difference in my distance from the golf ball. If I place those tee pegs down here, you can see my difference in distance, the width of my stance. That is exactly what we're looking for there. So you've got some real good markers for you to stand to the golf ball the same every time, which is gonna really ensure a more centered hit. If you're constantly too far away, it might be out the toe, constantly too close, it might be out the heel, and we don't want that. Okay, have a quick look at that there. That is the difference. So that was my five iron, that was my pitching wedge. Okay, these are the ends of the spectrum, but that's what we should see. I'd be reaching for it with pitching wedge from five iron spot, and I'd be too close with five iron from pitching wedge spot. Right, the point of the video you've been waiting for, this is vital. I don't know why we're not speaking about it. It's all about driver. The title was all about, I changed my distance on the golf ball. And this is so key with your driver. Now, listen to this, right? I found an article here and it says, 90% of driver shafts are far too long. Listen to this, right? So let me give you an example. Most manufactured driver shafts that we buy, me and you watching this video right now, are between 45 and 46 inches or 45 and a half to 46 and a half inches in length. The PGA Tour, if I bring this up here, average is 44 and a half inches. So let's just say an inch shorter than what me and you are buying. Now, there are some good reasons for this. Those guys don't actually need the length of shaft to produce a lot of speed. They've got a lot of speed. They're really strong, they're really good, and they are professionals. And the day, it is their livelihood. So the reasoning behind most manufacturers giving us a longer shaft is essentially just to help us swing it a little bit quicker. But I actually think this harms our game. If you think, right, why is driver so hard to tame compared to a pitching wedge? Because it's got a flatter face and it's a seriously long shaft. So what I recommend is, gripping down one inch on your driver shaft. I've actually gone and got mine cut down to help me control it. 
if I've got a shorter shaft, I'm more likely to find the middle. A middle hit is actually more likely to be something that goes a little bit further. And that's that big word, consistency. So what I'm recommending right here, we're gonna go through the process I did with the irons, but what I want you to do before you go down is instead of gripping right at the end, like there, I want you to go an inch down round about here to make it a little bit shorter, a bit more like the PGA Tour standard, and it's gonna give you some control. So come on, come down the line, I'm gonna follow that same process, but again, Reminder here, I've gripped down first. So get your width of stance and your ball position lined up inside your left heel. Forget the ball to start with from distance wise to the ball. Lower the club, bend over from the hips, slightly bend the knees. Then move into the golf ball. We can now place those tee pegs down again and we can hit loads of shots with the correct triangle between us and the golf ball with a slightly shorter shaft. I couldn't recommend this enough. Okay, let me show you, hit, hit one away here. Little baby draw. So user recommendations, check your distance, and don't forget, if you did enjoy this video, please do subscribe.